if you're in Flatbush in the Korean community, if you're in Sunset Park in the Chinese community, if you're in Rockaway, if you're out in Queens in the Dominican community, Washington Heights, all of you have that power to fuel us. We are so divided right now, and we're missing the beauty of our diversity. We have to end all of this division of who we are, where we go to Russia, what do we wear. No, today we take off the intramural jersey and we put on one jersey, Team New York. As the mayor of the city of New York, I don't, you know, weigh into immigration issues, border issues. Uh, I have to provide services for families that are here, and that's what we're going to do. And that's what we, our responsibility uh, as a city, uh, you know, I'm proud that this is a right to shelter state, and we're going to continue to do that. 110,000 migrants. We have to feed, clothe, house, educate the t children, wash their laundry sheets, give them everything they need, health care. We're getting no support on this national crisis. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. It is the irresponsibility of the Republican Party in Washington for refusing to do real immigration reform. And it's the irresponsibility of the White House for not uh, addressing this problem. So yeah, how much are you asking for? What are you asking the government for in terms of dollars? How much are you asking? Well, in the three years, this is a $12 billion price tag. So far, we have $100 million, a little over $100 million that we received. This is their issue. This is a national issue, and it should be treated as such. And so when people say, well, they have, we gave them $100 million, $12, $12 billion bill? Yeah. I mean, what so table what are you we dining <laughs> Breaking news, New York Mayor Eric Adams confirming that the FBI has seized a cell phone from him as part of a federal investigation. This coming just days after FBI agents executed a search warrant at the home of Adams' chief fundraiser. New York Mayor Eric Adams facing a lawsuit by a woman claiming he sexually assaulted her in 1993. But... Back to this whole New York thing. <laughs> so I want you guys to take a look at how some of the people of New York feel. Some of these people who voted for Joe Biden in New York feel. Take a look. My message is close the border, vet these people. Like, how come they get to cut the line in front of millions of people waiting? They're waiting to come to America the right way, but they get like pushed in front, the migrants, the illegal migrants. They get everything. They put them first, put America's, Americans last. We need to be America first, not Americans last. Do you think that AOC was responsive to messages like this? No, she cut her little parse conference early because of us. She kept on talking the same thing. Housing for migrants, work for migrants. But what about our homeless veterans? What about our homeless Americans? She puts them puts the migrants first us last so she's speaking on behalf of millions of new yorkers millions of new yorkers who hated trump who was also a new yorker who went out there in droves and voted for eric adams they voted for joe biden they were all for the sanctuary city status they were all for condemning places like texas talking about texas you guys are a bunch of assholes you're a bunch of racist bigots because you won't take care of illegal immigrants <laughs> but lo and behold when uh, illegal immigrants come to new york oh no we got to cut budget. We don't want to cut our budget. What about us? What about the home? I, well, isn't that what Texas was saying the entire time? But you guys didn't give a damn because you didn't have to deal with the crisis. But now the crisis is here. So why are you bitching and crying now? But what's happened is Eric Adams <laughs> has pissed off the wrong people. Eric Adams, because he's trying to look out for a city. I mentioned Brandon Johnson. I talked about how Brandon Johnson, the mayor of Chicago, isn't really in control of the politics, the governance of Chicago. He's a manager. He's a stooge of the larger Democrat Party. And he has to go along to get along. He has to go along with the policies that the DNC pushes down. And Eric Adams is the same. If you want to be a mayor of a major Democrat city, then 
you need to play ball. You need to do whatever the larger powers that be in the Democrat Party tell you to do. Once you start stepping out of line, you become a political liability. So if you want to run your money like Eric Adams, he apparently was running some campaign fraud, some running some money with some Turkish officials. If you want to do stuff like that, it's all good. It's all gravy. You just have to play ball because all of these politicians, especially the ones in D.C., are sleazy. They're dirty as hell. It's crazy how you go into the United States Congress broke or presidency or whatever position with just an average amount of money in your life savings. And all of a sudden, two, three years later, you're a millionaire like Nikki Haley, for example, running money with the military industrial complex. So we know these politicians are dirty. And like I said before, the FBI, Joe Biden, they don't give a damn about Eric Adams, what he was doing with Turkey. They just want to punish him. And I said before, maybe it was a warning. Maybe they just wanted to publicly whip you. But it looks like it's a hit job. This is political assassination. Eric Adams, your days are numbered. So let's get into the story of this sexual assault thing that allegedly may have or may not have happened 30 years ago. The mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, has been accused of sexual assault in a court filing submitted late on Wednesday. The summons against Adams alleges that the plaintiff was sexually assaulted by defendant Eric Adams in New York, New York in 1993 while they both worked for the city of New York. <laughs> it's crazy. Every time they come out like they tried with Trump, said he raped somebody. They said Brett Kavanaugh raped somebody. It's always 30 years ago, 35 years ago, where there was no evidence, no witnesses, nobody remembers anything. <laughs> And usually the defendants, like, I don't even know who the hell you are. <laughs> like, some lady said, what was it, 35 in 1980 or something like that, 1982? Trump was on an airplane and he just put his finger out and touched some lady's butt. <laughs> like, what? 35 years ago? It, it's crazy. So they do this because they can just pay some lady to come out and say some habit to her. And a lot of people on that train where it's believe all women. So when they hit you with this right here, it stirs up the radicals and they come out and protest against you. And eventually, a lot of times, forces you out of office. But Trump and Kavanaugh, it didn't work on them. They tried their best to, especially those Kavanaugh hearings. I remember seeing ladies there shrieking. Some lady interrupted one of his Senate hearings, his confirmation hearings. And they just let her talk, talking about how she was great and such terrible things happened to her. She was crying emotionally. And people were like, oh, my God, I want to give her a hug. Turns out she made it up. She was an actor. <laughs> but these political hit jobs, man, it's crazy. It was filed under the Adult Survivors Act, a New York state law, which provided a one-year look-back window for adult sexual misconduct accusers to file civil lawsuits that previously would have been barred due to the statute of limitations. So what's this about? This is about Trump. So... New York, their Trump derangement syndrome is so heavy in there that they had some accuser in New York and against Trump, but the statute of limitation was out. So they created a special law just to go after Trump, even though it didn't work. But they created this law to go after Trump, and now they're using it against Eric Adams. The window expires on 24 November. You, you see what I'm saying? So it's already over now, but she's put in the claim ahead of time. It seems like it's unconstitutional when you just open up some law and we all know you only create this specific law just to go after one man. It seems like some type of state persecution going on here. But anyways, the summons adds that the accusation concerns sexual assault, battery and employment discrimination on the basis of plaintiff's gender and sex, retaliation, hostile work environment and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Yeah, Eric Adams, you're in trouble. You're in a heap of trouble. You're getting a Trump treatment. You are getting a treatment that Republicans get all the time because the Democrats hate Republicans. So you have these shitbag leftists. They will do anything. They will destroy a man's life off of a lie. I'm not saying this is a lie. We don't know. But I'm saying based on the track record of these political hit jobs, it's probably a lie. More than likely. More likely than not, this is total BS, but it's being used against a Democrat this time. Asked about the allegation, a city hall spokesperson said the mayor does not know who this person is. Thanos, <laughs> I don't even know who you are. <laughs> 
If they ever met, he doesn't recall it, but he would never do anything to physically harm another person and vigorously denies any such claim. The three-page summons does not detail the alleged sexual assault. Of course it doesn't because you still need time. They got writers, script writers. They need time to come up with some story of what happened. The Guardians were holding the name of Adam's accused on the, as the allegation involved sexual assault. The summons also names the New York City Police Department's Transit Bureau, New York City Police Department's Guardians Association social organization as defendants 30 years ago. So I guess you got to throw that in to make the story sound more credible. The accuser's attorney, Megan Goddard, said Goddard Law is thankful for the Adult Survivors Act, which has given so many women the opportunity to seek justice. Okay, so we get it. We see what's going on here. So Eric Adams is on the fire. Eric Adams has been me too. So first, the FBI opened a probe against him saying, you're corrupt. You ran money with the Turkish officials. We're going to publicly embarrass you. We're going to leak all the documents of our investigation, and we're going to come at you like we the mob like we the mafia you're in new york you're a new yorker okay so we're gonna come up here like the mob and we're gonna come up to you in broad light, daylight make your bodyguard step aside and we're gonna snatch your stuff right from you how about that so they did that to him and now he's being me too so so it looks like his days are numbered He's in a heap of trouble. So I want to see if Eric Adams is still going to be talking about this issue because we still got stuff going on. New York is still being hit with 10 to 12,000 illegal immigrants a month. They made this shelter. They spent millions of dollars building this upgraded version of a tent city out there off of the harbor and the old federal airstrip where they built all these tents, built a cafeteria out of one of the tents, and the migrants refused it. So we're pushing December. Winter is coming and it's getting very cold in New York. So the crisis is going to get worse. We got a lot of illegal immigrants up there. A lot of people still on the streets. These hotels are being ran down. These former luxury hotels are being ran down. And the residents are getting more and more angsty as word gets out. They spread it on TikTok. Word gets out on YouTube. How these migrants are getting special treatment. How these illegal immigrants are being put before homeless veterans and everything illegal immigrants first americans last has been the democrat policy so it's only going to get worse in new york and eric adams is going to be under pressure he's already cutting the budget he said a 15 percent cut across the board he started with five percent he announced his five percent cut and people like cardi b them they went crazy up there in new york so what's going to happen when he says hey there's another five percent cut What's going to happen when they eventually get to the point where they have to raise taxes on a New York residents to fund illegal immigrants? <laughs> it's crazy up there in New York. And I'm curious to see what Eric Adams is going to do. Is he going to speak out on this? Hey, before you go, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video. Thank you for watching.